Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Just Click the Button. Do it. So, in this game, you have a button, and all you've got to do is click it. Every time you do, you get a little gem. And as you can see on the top, as we get more gems, we get the 20 we need to level up. Then we get an ability. Now, you might think, Matt, this is just a clicker game. I've seen thousands of these. How does this differ from any other? Well, you will see. You will see. For now, let's go with more points. So, every time we click, we get an extra one. So, you can see we're getting two, which means this bar fills up even quicker. Now, there is also, there is like idle and there is critical ones. I think I'm just going to keep going with the more points for now. So now we get three every single time. So we've leveled up very quickly that time. Now we have an uncommon ability we can get, a controlled pistol. <laughs> So the pistol shoots a bullet every three button clicks and is aimed in the direction that I'm looking. Assassin buttons start spawning and they deal melee damage. So let's take that and you can see I've now got a pistol and every three clicks I can shoot. So I can shoot these little critters. My button now has a health bar. So we've got to try and defend it. Thankfully, every time we do click, we still get we still get to level up. So we still get to pick one of these. So defense, we can add some regen onto us. I could make my pistol better or I could do some idling. Uh, oh, that nearly doubles the pistol damage. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. So now when we shoot, so are we like two shotting these now? Yeah, we're, we're two, two hit kills to get rid of these guys now. Nice. Now I'm going to go with more points again. So we now get... We now get five gems every single click, which means we've leveled up instantly almost. And because uh, this one's green, this is uncommon. So I'm probably going to go with that. Spinning knives. Every eight button clicks, you'll spawn a knife that rotates around the button. Uh, they do melee damage and you can have 15 max of them. So basically as I click, yeah, there you go. There's a knife floating around. Now there's two. So we'll get up to 15 floating around us. That'll be like a nice little last line of defense. Um, I could upgrade either of my weapons. I think I'll just go for more points though. So we now get eight every single click. Anyway, you got another, another level up. There is another weapon, the stabby spikes. So four spikes will slowly rotate inside the button and stab enemies every seven clicks. Sure, let's give it a go. So there's the spikes in the middle. So every seven clicks, yeah, they, they poke out. So not sure how useful that's going to be compared to my like my, my swords flying about. Still not going to complain too much. Oh, what do I do here? I could add quite a lot of points per click or we could take two random upgrades. Surely random upgrades is better because that's like two upgrades I wouldn't have had otherwise. Yeah, let's take that. So it looks like my, yeah, my pistol has been upgraded and something else was. I'm not really sure what the other thing was. Still get back, get back get back. This game is not an idle game anymore. <laughs> right. Do I upgrade my knives? Oh, it's a green one. So it upgrades it quite a lot. Or do I start going critical? So we have a 2% critical chance, but they give 200%. I reckon let's get some critical on the go. Now this isn't critical damage. This is critical clicking. So you'll notice most of them say eight. We should get, yeah, an odd one that says 16. That should happen like one every 50 clicks roughly. Yeah, uh, we can add an extra percent chance and all oh, more critical points. I think though, I'm just going to go with the more points. So now we get, yeah, 14 every single click, which means that bar fills up way quicker now. Um, by the way, it's space to click. You don't actually click the button. Despite the name of the game, it's actually space the button because uh, obviously I'm using my mouse to like aim where I need to go. Um, I don't feel like I need to make my pistol any better for now. I might add some idle button clicks. So now we now we get some clicks while I'm not even clicking which is always good. Anyway, get back, you little blobs. Right, we've leveled up so fast now. Right, the boxing glove. Every 11 clicks will punch a close enemy with a boxing glove, knocking them away. Oh, they can only hit assassins and speedsters, though. Do I want a boxing glove then? I don't think I do. Let's go with the idol. The more we can click, the more chance we have to get better upgrades. I reckon that's how this works. Although I imagine at some point I will need a better weapon because it is it is only going to get harder. Let's take more points. So now every click is 24 points. That's not bad, which means a critical one if we're lucky enough. No, we're not lucky enough. Um, ooh, what's this? Arena plus bullet bounce creates an arena. All bullets bounce. Zoom in and out using the scroll wheel. Oh, okay. Let's take that. Oh, we can zoom we can zoom in and out. Nice. Okay, I may as well stay like zoomed in to like that sort of level. But you can see our bullets bouncing around the arena now. That is a very nice, a very, very nice upgrade indeed. Let's take idle button clicks. I think every time I take idle, it increases my normal click value as well. So we're now getting 25. All right, then we're back to this. 
Oh, do I take the critical? I think I think I got to go with the upgrade two random abilities. So oh, I think we got more points and criticals there. So that was absolutely genius taking that. They're now worth 39 each and 93 for a critical. They seem to be a lot more common now. Um, Let's take more points here. So now we're getting 54 per click. This is money. Oh, and when we kill an enemy, we're getting 188. Decent. Oh, in the middle, it's blue. It's a rare ability. An auto-controlled gun, the AWP. Uh, this does spawn buttons that shoot bullets at me, though. So I've got to be careful. Oh, yeah, but look, you get points per kill. So 308, decent. So we've got to look out. Okay, is that one there? I think that's one. Damn hexagons. They think they're the best guns. Um, oh, more choices. You can now choose between four, four abilities every level up. Yes, please. That is way better. All right, take down the damn hexagon before it shoots us. All right, one over that side, another one over that side. Oh, we got four to choose from. We got to go for the student's magic book every time, I think. Whenever that appears, that's really good. I wonder if there's like a rare one, which is like three upgrades or something. I hope so. Anyway, let's let's try and keep everyone back. We're doing so well, actually. Um, oh, more points or oh, the broken Uzi. So it's another auto-controlled gun. It spawns speedsters. They're fast until melee damage. Yeah, let's do it. We've now got an Uzi, which auto shoots. Do they just shoot in like random directions? Or do they actually shoot enemies? I think they shoot enemies. Not entirely sure. But uh, for the moment, it's only the pistol that I can control. I'm going to take... Yeah, I think I'll just take more points for now. So 108 per click. Because again, although we got to defend ourselves, as long as we are doing a good job, I may as well try and get more points. Oh, look, student's magic book. Get involved. So I think my pistol and my spikes got upgraded then. So my pistol should do more damage, should shoot faster, etc. And yeah, we are leveling up fast. Uh, do I take the idol or do I take the pistol? I think the pistol, the uncommon one. Yeah, you can see that's like the normal upgrade. So it would be plus three and plus two. We're getting plus four and plus four. So that's like a 20% damage increase. Yeah, take that. Take that. A better pistol is good in my books. Um, oh, these little, those sneaky little speedsters. They are quite fast. We've got to watch out for those. Uh, do I take health regen? Now, I think we're actually, we're good for health. Let's just do more points again. So now 110 every time we click, which means we've leveled up in no time. Um, I might actually take the defense this time. This gives me more, more health and a bit of regen. So yeah, we got 125 health now rather than 100. Some of these little enemies, they are getting quite close. I mean, I got quite a good thing going on with the old, the bouncing and the pistol. Not too sure how my other weapons are doing though. Um, oh man, I want to take the more points, but all the others are green. No, I think I'm going to take the more points. I feel like it's better. Like a bit of like an XP increase, isn't it? I think it's worthwhile. I mean, the screen's pretty empty of enemies as well. So I'm not too worried about them. Uh, let's do critical clicks as well. Because the more crits we get, the better. You can see in the middle when they pop up, they're worth like 300 and something. Oh, look at this. The triple deagle. So sniper buttons start spawning. This is, oh, this is also an auto controlled gun. It targets the closest enemies and shoots oh, three bullets every three clicks. So we'll take the deagle. There's so many guns coming out of this now. <laughs> what is that? This is not a button in the slightest. For a game called Just Click the Button, there's a lot going on. And to be fair, I probably would have played this if it was Just Click a Button. All right, anyway, larger arena. Enemies spawn further away. Interesting. I think they upgrade two random abilities. That is the plate. And then we just keep shooting. And as long as I keep spamming spacebar, uh, we should keep shooting all of our auto weapons as well. So yeah, screen, pretty empty for now. Anyway, we level up again. Oh, do I take the larger arena? I don't know if it's... Is it that good? Let's see what happens. So if I zoom out now, yeah, you can see the edge of the map is now a bit further away. Um, I think let's do the broken Uzi because that gives us the most damage increase, plus six. So although it does just shoot like in random directions... Oh, I guess that's why it's broken. It just, it does literally just shoot in random directions because it's broken. But if it does the most damage and we're bouncing off the walls, then it's not, it's not terrible in my opinion. Um, oh, look, broken Uzi again, plus 10. Okay, we got to, we got to do that. I don't, I don't need accuracy when we've got the bouncy walls, I don't think. Plus 10 damage is huge. Spam, spacebar, there you go, level up again. Let's take the, the upgrade to random abilities. We've got spikes and I don't know what the gears are. But we have upgraded the gears. Anyway, I'll keep spamming, click, keep shooting everything I can. I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah, you get two fingers on the spacebar. That's it. That is it. 
Right, leveled up again. Another broken Uzi, plus 10 damage again. Oh, do I go for crits? I feel like if I if I kept getting my crits up, I'd be upgrading way faster. But plus 10 damage, we got to go with the plus 10. Plus 10 is huge. And anyway, now I've got the, the two fingers on the space bar. We are clicking very fast. Look, nothing's on screen because there's so many bullets bouncing everywhere. Um, let's take more points. Plus 120, that doubles it. Yes, please. So now 239 every click. 668 for a critical one. And bullets just flying everywhere on screen. We've leveled up instantly. <laughs> Nice. All right, let's take some some criticals. I want to do criticals more often now. I think they're gonna they're gonna start paying off. Seven hundred and sixty four every crit, and uh, we got a fair amount of them. There. Let's go again. So yeah, we add a percent every time, plus forty percent crit points. We'll just keep critting it up. Crit builds in these sorts of games are usually good. Well, I say these sorts of games, although it is an idle game. It's not really an idle game. It's more of a more of like a vampire's bounty of one type thing. Anyway, let's go. Let's get the pistol upgraded, I guess. That is the one thing I can aim. But to be fair, I'm just spinning my mouse around in circles, just like spamming spacebar and everything's dying. <laughs> this is awesome. Right, oh, here we go. The teacher's magic book. It's a rare one. Upgrade three random abilities, but a mythic ability, skull harvest. The button will consume the skull of every enemy defeated. Each skull consumed gives a really small upgrade to a random ability. What? All skull harvest upgrades will be shown inside the stats tab. Uh, oh, they're not permanent. But yeah, I'm killing like everything. So surely skull harvest is the way to go, right? So basically every time I kill an enemy, I get stronger. And we need to like one of my random abilities. Anyway, let's upgrade two random abilities. So that was spikes and one of my guns, that one. You can see when I kill an enemy, like the skulls can fly in towards me. So that's doing good stuff. Now, oh, here we go. Oh, look at all these stats. Look at all these stats. So we've consumed 40 skulls and that's given us, oh, not a lot, actually. Pretty much everything's zero. An extra 0.8% points per click. Okay, cheers, game. That was worth it. I saw mythical ability and I got excited. Anyway, right, what do we do here? I reckon critical. Game keeps trying to give me the boxing glove. I'm not that fussed on a boxing glove. It's like no enemy gets close to me at all. Same reason I'm not upgrading my spikes or my swords. Um, broken Uzi. Oh, it is plus 10 again nearly. What do I do? The deagle. Now, nah, let's do the broken Uzi. As it's a greenie, it's probably better. Um, we're getting 240 per spacebar press now. Oh, look, legendary. You can now choose five abilities every time you level up. Yes, please. Okay, now I really want to level up again. So come on, smash the space bar. I'm actually getting like carpal tunnel a bit. I'm going to try and use two hands for a little bit because my left hand is killing me. To be fair, there's no enemies on screen and I'm not using my mouse. All right, okay, we get to pick between five. Oh, do I upgrade the skull harvest? They give slightly better upgrades. Or do I just do more points? Plus 169. That is huge. I got to do more points to start with. All right, then I got a spam. So 410 or 1600 for a crit. So that means we've leveled up so quick. I might just do more points again. Plus 110. Boosh! 2000 for criticals. This is incredible. Thankfully, my auto guns are like really, really helping. Um, in fact, I might increase my damage and bullet speed for the Deagle. Because that shoots three bullets every three seconds. I think they're the spiky ones you can sort of see. Like the grey ones. But yeah, if I just mash spacebar, we are cruising. All right, what have we... Oh man, we got a rare... We've got... we got Skull Harvest Plus. Skulls Consume gives slightly better upgrade. i got to do that then, surely. But there is also a bouncy shield. There's no enemies on screen. I'm too powerful for my own good. Let's take the skull harvest and we will hope as I mash the space bar without aiming anywhere, we still continue to kill enemies and maybe the skulls will give us something good. Anyway, what do we do here? I think let's just make the pistol a bit better. Yeah, done. Okay, pistol slightly better. Space bar being absolutely mashed. Come on, space bar. We've leveled up again. Oh, booster. Rare movement ability. Wait, what? A booster button will move around the button. Hold down left control to charge the booster. Release to boost the button in the booster's opposite direction. What? <laughs> I can move the button around. I don't know if I want that. I feel like I'll just mess myself up if I move around. <laughs> Sod it. Let's try it then. Okay, so if I hold left control, then... Oh, it moves me. <laughs> Oh, sick. Okay, I can now move my button. Oh, no, I'm getting shot. I mean, I'm actually being shot to death. 
Uh, let's upgrade two random abilities. Oh, man. I need. I want to get back to the middle of the screen. I don't like being up here. <laughs> right, there you go. We're sort of in the middle again. We need to get those enemies back. There we go. Um, I'm going to upgrade the skull harvest. I don't know if it's worth... Let's have a. Let's have another look in the settings. So skull... Oh, look. Plus 4% points per click now. Plus a little bit of max health. Okay. So this, this is actually doing something. So that's good to note. Uh, next upgrade. I think just more points. 888 per click now. What are we? We're level 55. Um, ooh, point drop. Enemies will now drop points when defeated. Points are worth 200% of a button click. Oh, and there's like chances for like rare, legendary, and mythical ones. Oh, I gotta do that, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. So when we kill enemies, there's like little gems. Oh, do we have to go collect the gems? Is that what the moving thing is for? Oh, I'm too scared to move. Oh, look how many gems are over there, right? <laughs> We're gonna have to try and move over there. We'll get point drop again. Do they disappear is what I'm wondering. Or can I just like charge them up and then go get them in a bit? Like when I'm not too scared to move. Yeah, let's make the arena a bit larger because then I can zoom out again. Right, now we're getting closer. <laughs> oh, saw blade. A small saw blade will rotate around the button at a fast pace. Oh, that sounds cool. Let's go for that. Okay, so I think we're moving. Yes, into the gems. I need to remember to keep shooting. Keep shooting. All right, decent. We got, we got, let's upgrade that. Two random abilities. We'll kill a load of enemies. And then I got to try and move, I think, up. I can see a legendary it's up that way. Nice. Oh, 6,000 gems in there. Not bad at all. Make the arena larger again. Let's zoom out even more. There we go. All right, then I'll move up. Try and get... I want to get that blue. There we go. We've got the blue right now. I want to move down. So, boosh. Move down. Oh, I nearly went into enemies. There's always enemies down here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, I might increase my defense. So give myself extra, extra health, extra regen. I think that's probably sensible. I got very greedy with the old gems. I wanted to go get them all. It didn't quite pay off. I think, should I do more defense again? I think it's sensible. All right, just collect all the gems down here. And then <clears throat> try and get over this way. I think I want to try and get back to the, back to the middle. Oh, look at this. Upgrade five random abilities. Yes, please. Oh, look at all the upgrades. Amazing. All right, I do need to actually try and defend now. There's a lot of enemies. I need to work on my weapons, I think. All right, what weapon can... Oh, man. Plus 400 per click. Okay, next time I'll work on the weapons. For now, nearly 2,000 per click. We get 8,000 every single critical. Okay, so now I can upgrade one of my weapons. I think the pistol, probably. Yeah, sounds sensible. Sounds sensible. Oh, no, my health. My health. I need to try and take down the shooting enemies. There's a shooting one up there. Oh, man, we are getting hurt. I don't know if the larger arena is actually helping me. I'm going to increase my auto, auto gun. But yeah, I need to focus on the enemies that can shoot me because I think they're the ones that are hurting me. We're down to just 100 health. Not ideal. We'll get the deagle leveled up. Should I do the skull hard? No, we'll do the deagle. Right, okay. How's health looking? 150. I think we're doing better now. I'm focusing on, like, actual enemies. <gasps> a cannon! <laughs> so that shoots a big bullet every 16 button clicks. And it pierces, but it spawns raging gunners. I mean, we've got to give it a bash, right? We've got to give it a bash. So we now have a cannon. Oh, and that, that is a big enemy button we've spawned. Oh, look, I can upgrade. I can upgrade the cannon as well. It's a legendary, so we've got to take it. So, oh, look at my cannonballs bouncing across the screen. Okay, that's actually quite cool. I need to take down the big buttons, though. They look pretty scary. Criticals or the skull harvest? Let's go do skull harvest. Right, oh, goodness. we got big boys behind me. Take them down. Take them down. I can always move. i got to remember I can move if I need to dodge. Uh, for now, though, I'm too I'm too focused on leveling up everything. Let's do more criticals so I can hopefully level up a bit quicker. All right, down here, we got some big ones. Oh, boy. They're behind us. Oh, man, we're getting surrounded. We're actually getting quite surrounded. I don't like this. Uh, upgrade two random abilities. Oh, no. The enemies, they're coming so close. They're coming so close. Oh, we might actually be in trouble here. We might actually be in trouble. I can't click any... Master, come on, spacebar. Oh, wait, what is this? Level 75. You can now choose between one of four endings. Okay. Oh, so we get to pick between a new boss. So big old boss fight. You fight a big boss. Melee abilities are useless. Okay. Hordes of enemies. Uh, angry champions. Fight three angry champions. Or danger button. Dodge the... No, I'm not dodging anything, mate. Screw that. So one of these ones. Shall we try... Let's try angry champions. 
Ooh, would I like to take a different one? You'll control the button with Wazda. Yes, please. Thank you. That's very kind. Oh, man, I actually need to move. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> These guys are spiky. These guys are spiky. Oh, it's really, really hard. This is meant to be an idle game. <laughs> we are losing a lot of health. Oh, no, I think we're down. I think we're down. There's nothing I can do. Oh, man. That was nearly impossible. Anyway, that was just click the button uh, by the same guy that made uh, the coin flipper game. If you ever watched that video on my channel, uh, if you haven't, click it on the end screen. Look, it's on screen now. Anyway, for now, I'll say peace, love and buttons. Bye, guys.